all across the city of Indianapolis, the roads are littered with potholes. And those potholes are more than just an inconvenience. We've set up our TV cameras here at Chelsea Road, watching buses trying to get around the uh, pothole. Over here, you can see our camera capturing an SUV, taking it very slowly, trying to avoid a lot of the craters here. And here you can see a UPS driver trying to narrowly get by this crater that's filled up with water. Residents have been telling our Chase how this kind of area is costing people hundreds of dollars, and it's also raising safety concerns. Scott, there are potholes, and then there's this. Homeowners on Chelsea Road said they've tried and tried over the past several years to get their street repaired, but time and time again, they say the city keeps putting a Band-Aid on a much bigger issue. Chuck Hole on Chelsea Road, 2000, January 17, 2017. Christy Hayes has been relentless over the years when it comes to getting her road fixed. If you're going down the street, you're like jumping. Sending email after email to anyone who she thinks can help. There's brand new road that way, brand new road that way, brand new road that way. What's wrong with our road? Hayes has lived on Chelsea Road most of her life. It's a foot, foot and a half cross. She says the massive holes that she drives over every day haven't always been there. They came out and surfaced it like 1996 when I graduated high school, Ben Davis. And since then, what's it been like? Crap. Homeowners say the craters aren't just causing damage to their car, but also ruining people's property. They tell me people will drive through their yards to avoid hitting the holes. So we could almost build a sandcastle out here with all this rock and sand. Tony okay. Gibson lives directly in front of where the potholes are worst. Gibson says DPW has been out to try and fix the holes over the years, but he says the fix is merely temporary. When you fill potholes, are you supposed to fill them with water in it like that? Because this is what you end up with when cars drive over it. This is all asphalt right here that they lay down for these, all these potholes, and it ends up right over here. Because everybody's driving over here, pushing it over here. I reached out to DPW on Friday for an interview. Although they weren't able to speak with me on camera, they sent me a statement writing in part, following recent resident inquiries, Indy DPW sent a member of our stormwater team to evaluate the area and determined Chelsea Road is in need of a stormwater capital project, continuing on to say that they do not have a timeline for when a fix can be implemented, but will continue analysis over time as budget will allow. I think there's enough money. There's enough people out here. I see them all the time. I see them riding around. There's enough people and money. Taxes we pay, we should have a nice road to drive on. Homeowners also calling on City County Councilor Jared Evans, who represents the district, to do something. One constituent telling me Evans made promises during his campaign to fix Chelsea Road. So I reached out to Evans for an interview, but he was unavailable. He instead sent me this statement in which he denied making that promise and stated in part, funding constraints pose challenges, which is why it is crucial we prioritize projects that have the most significant positive impact on the daily lives of residents on the west side. I sent it last night and I said, here's While what I, I was speaking on. with Hayes again on Monday, Evans responded to one of her dozens of emails. At one point writing, I'll be working with DPW to get a scoping report finished and a projected timeline on when we can address this. Jaden Ray takes the bus home from school. He says every time they drive down his street, kids and even the bus driver complain. It's just like wobbly and then we like scoot over. Like it just moves us. And while those living on Chelsea Road may be frustrated, one thing was also clear. They wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I mean, enough is enough. Come out and help. That's all we're asking. Fix our roads. Yeah, this packet here is just some of the dozens of emails Hayes has sent over the years. As you heard earlier, some dating back to 2017. She says the emails would probably date back even further if they hadn't been deleted from her inbox. Chase, thanks so much. Indy DPW is urging you tonight to reach out when you see a pothole. You can track the city's progress by filling them on the Indy Pothole Viewer. You see all these red dots here? Those represent 3,500 potholes the city knows about but hasn't fixed yet. We've got a link for you to do so right now on WTHR.com.